Well, it looks like it's going to be the uh, week of revisiting four travels from my past. So I started out the week in Florida looking at a 2008 four travel Nimbus that I looked at in North Carolina. And today we're going to take a look at a 2003 Nimbus four travel that I made a video about a few months ago here at Sewell Motor Coach in Harrisburg, Kentucky that has been sold and they had to do some repairs to it thanks to my inspection. Why on earth would I not start with this 2007 four travel Nimbus and share it with you guys? It's not very often I get to see a four travel or bring you guys along with it. We've only done it once before. Now it's been at his shop for the last few days where his very competent crew has been working on it and getting it ready for delivery. And I think Doug wanted me to either document his frustration with me for finding everything or brag to you guys that uh, he took care of it all. Oh, brag or times. complain? No, both. Both. No, it's, never, <laughs> it's an expense that is really pays us. It pays us to pay you. To oh, do the I appreciate that. Now, is that 03? What, what year is that? That's a 07. 07. I was way off. My yeah. memory's no good. It's been you a few months. This is the one that my buddy Skid Willie paint, repainted the I know. Front. He did a beautiful job on the front end, too. It was done, I think, by the time you got here. And then you did the inspection, and we found some things. We pulled it offline because it we needed to do a bunch of work to it. Airbags, shocks. I mean, just the list goes on. Tires, everything. So it kind of got shuffled. It, it wasn't... The, the long delay was due to us being really busy. Right. And I didn't want to sell it and then not be able to follow through in a timely manner in our normal one to two weeks during prep right. because it needed so much work. So. Right. If I remember correctly, you actually had it listed on your website. Yes. I did the video yes. and then it came down off the website. So some people were like, oh, you already sold it already. And you yes. said, no, I, you weren't ready to sell it, I guess. Well, we, you know, we found some things that we didn't, we weren't sure about airbags, how long it was going to take. We called for travel, ordered everything, shocks. We did lighting update, televisions, lots of different stuff we did. Um, so we, I pulled it down because I wasn't sure how quick I could deliver the coach. How do I put it? You uh, think like me, you uh, under-promise and over-deliver, right? Well, <laughs> that, that would be a great sales slogan. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm a lot like you simply because I don't want to. I get a lot of anxiety right. from not being able to follow through on my promises. Mm -hmm. So if I promise something, I want to be able to follow through with it. Disappoint, no, but the coach is now sold, and it's here. And we're all the way in July. And we did that video back in December. I think so, So yeah. the coach set for like four months. We couldn't even touch it because we were so busy. Uh, finally, we were able to get it, the airbags. The, and I want you to show the, the folks what we did. And, and we fixed everything on your list. But what I'm going to have to do, because I thought it was a 2003, that's how bad my memory is, I'll have to actually have you show me what, what we did uh, or have the guys tell me what, we, what you guys did. Let's, yeah, let's do it. All right. Axle seals in the back. All right, so brand new tires. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Brand new rubber. All right. I'm put new tires on this, new airbags, and then you said new Coney shocks? Coney shocks all the way around. Uh, you went ahead and lubed all the uh, fittings on it. Now, is a uh, lube oil filter all standard part of the sales? So, every coach that we do, we do what's called a wheels off chassis inspection. So, my guys will, on this one, it's air level. So, we have to get it up on jacks, take the wheels off, inspect every aspect of the chassis, the uh, fittings, the bushings. We're going to lube everything. I didn't know you did that. We do on every coach. It's so very, you take all the important. tires off? Take put it, all the tires off. Wow, yes. that's, very few dealers do that. And it's, it, I find I'm it sure it's good. actually saved you quite a bit of uh, problems down the road. Well, it's the problems that you don't know that are going to happen. If you don't check those brakes, we've had a, a couple of coaches where you see a brake, a brake pad that's all checked and broken and cracked. Yeah, you can only see so much from the side I mean, profile. What's going to happen when that brake pad falls apart? Something catastrophic is going to happen. So we really have saved, I think, a lot of a lot of headaches with doing that. So. Okay. Yeah, you can see the brand new airbags back there from Firestone and in the front. New tires. Well, yeah, it's right. not too difficult to do an oil change with a... Engine access like that, right? Spoiled the guys. With this one. <laughs> yeah. They are spoiled. Now, if I remember correctly, the roof had some issues, right? So this one had the uh, this had the drains, all right. the, the PEX tubing that was all broken. Yeah. Well, I'll let you show the people exactly okay. what we did. I'm interested to find out what you think about our workaround. I think it goes into your theory of let's work smarter, not harder. <laughs> let's do something a little bit easier. 
All right, so for, uh, this is the drain we were talking about up here. I like that they secured this tubing down. They probably shouldn't have used white P, plastic P clamps because they uh, do get brittle in the sun. So we do have some broken P clamps. Might need to get those addressed too. Now we already got a sneak peek at the uh, condensate drains here. So they did add the cups down below. And yeah. So those condensate drains, they broke. Condensate drain over here, did this one break? That one's not broken yet. And that one's not broken yet. It was all broken. They just went ahead and replaced all the tubing with some uh, nice brass fittings and stainless steel bands. They added this uh, loom over the top of it. it. Looks like they put a brand new AC on the back back here too. And yeah, very clever. I do like to see that they took their time to do it all the right way. A lot better than uh, I would have uh, expected from four travel. So they did a great job up here. New AC and they replaced all the drain lines for the condensate. Looks like they even went ahead and uh, resealed the skylight too for here. There's no lap sealant anywhere on it. The lap sealant on top of the screws is really just there to keep water from puddling and redirect it. But because they probably pointed out that it had some voids in it. So that's a pretty big and expensive uh, repair that they did, including a new AC unit. So they're taking this quite seriously. I didn't thought they'd just delete it. That's what I would have recommended. This is above and beyond what I was expecting. They did a great job, above and beyond what I would have done. They basically replumbed the entire thing, put all new uh, uh, condensate drains on all the ACs, so and you have a new rear AC too. Yeah, yes, we had to replace the rear AC. So it is, uh, did you hear that, Joe? What you did on the Ford Travel is AZ Expert approved. You did a great job. Better than Ford Travel. Looks like Ford Travel installed that originally. Good. Well, I'm, I'm sure Joe would be glad to hear that. All I right. I imagine. Thank you, James. What we do in this shop, we call this the shop of disappointment. The, <laughs> no. Uh, so we, I, well, I, only when I'm here. Yes. Yeah, so the shop of A little bit of a friendly kick on that. We look good there. Did this one break? That one's not broken yet. RV. And it really wouldn't take that much more. All right, at that point, we're to the front AC. We'll grab that. Seems like that shroud's a little bit loose. We can tighten that up. And this is the condensate drain over here. Did this one break? That one's not broken yet. And that one's not broken yet. Give a little bit of a friendly kick on that.